Hello, my name is Annie Kiel Taggart and I own an artist run space called Passion Fish in Camperdown in the Shire of Karangamite, formerly known as the Western District of Victoria. The byline for Passion Fish is creating social capital, creating possibilities. I see this town as the heart space of a beautiful provincial region featuring the Great Ocean Road and the heritage inland towns. Two, um, two threaded conversations that I had with Kim were significant in terms of the research that I've done around passion fish. One was from the Urban Institute regarding ARIES and the other one was to do with themes of value and confluence, that is, seeing myself within the value of passion fish, not only to other people, but to myself as well. So the first one, in terms of um, uh, considering um, terms of value, um, it, I'll, I'll just read this quote, the relationship of an artist to a community and how an artist's creative expression can contribute to the community and their own personal and professional growth at the same time. Regarding the, the ARIES, this is an abstract from the Urban Institute, and it, um, which says, the development of affordable spaces for artists to live and or work is certainly an important matter for artists, but it can also be an important issue for people concerned with a range of social issues, including economic development, civil engagement, community collective action, and community quality of life. This report considers how artist space developments have been positioned and the arguments made to garner support for them. They're all things that I'm particularly interested in. The other research, um, the other secondary research that was relevant to here was to do with the ARIES in Montreal, Washington, as well as in Newcastle in New South Wales. They confirmed the value of ARIES to me and especially linked, especially when they were linked to cultural precincts within towns and cities. It provided, the research provided a global context. It also indicated that success occurred wherever these inter enterprises were supported by councils and state um, or civic and government bodies. The three council officers and regional arts officer that I have dealt with here are paid large salaries to walk the policies of the voluminous strategic plan documents off the page, but it's slow progress here. The priority remains with the dairy industry, despite a slowdown, and there has been little, there's been little exploration um, of any other directions to go in. From the readings from Deakin can, um, to do with the creative economy, it, it appears that none of this has actually been explored. The local demographics here show stagnation and growth only in the 65 plus group. Recent catch up by Karangamite regarding the health and wellbeing plan, which is here, um, via a survey, indicated severe socio-economic factors here. Karangamite and Colex art strategies, which I looked at in my secondary research, were generally lacklustre. Larger centres like Warrnambool, Ballarat and Geelong had diversity and interest, but they're quite a long way from here. They're quite distant from here. Karangamite Arts Group has, has some strong enterprising members in it and at the moment they're creating new partnerships with the Rotary uh, Group and the Council for projects such as the Courthouse Art Space. Secondary research provided the impetus for my primary research which was around running a summer school, a creative communication summer school um, uh, to increase awareness of passion fish and also to make it a holiday destination. Time and, uh, and availability 
hampered um, accessing my second uh, group, my second focus group of 44. Um, I also wanted more qualitative input than I could access through conventional uh, formal methods. Uh, so therefore I reviewed one group, which was the entire shopping and professional area, and I distributed 44 questionnaires, with 21 completed and returned. The second group were more personally related to the studio. They were harder to pin down to questionnaires. I'm a global thinker. Most of my friends are the same. They're not analytical. It, they prefer to chat. So um, they related best to discussions. So I obtained five written questionnaires from this group, the second group, and nine results from personal discussions. Overall, there was sufficient interest to begin the marketing and booking process. I felt a larger number would attend uh, with further promotion and including specific information regarding the sessions provided. More information was required um, you know, to, to provide... Um, Oh, to be able to explain more of what um, these sort of workshops that Marg would be producing, along with concepts, new concepts like art therapy and little, um, little, uh, there were not too many people up here who had done filmmaking or script writing. So it, it actually needs to be developed a little further that way. So flyers, newspaper articles and networking, including the opportunity for deposits to be paid, need to be created. Margaret Parrott's workshop required 10 participants for her flight and other costs to be covered. Um, and 10 participants are best for the other workshops as well. It creates energy and um, as well as covering costs. Um, so in terms of... Um, basically an introduction to being here. Um, I was born in this area and I've been successful elsewhere but I've felt little, I haven't felt uh, particularly understood in what I've been trying to do on my own soil, on my home, home soil. So the secondary research indicated the trend of Ari spreading into rural areas as well as accepted urban centres, and this gave me a sense of being on track career-wise and not stuck in my own sentimental journey. The concept of a creative communication school at Passion for Fish came from considering the unique and somewhat quirky, there's a quirkiness in the character of this district and its location. Um, Passion Fish as a summer school place could become a venue for other than locals, attracting holiday makers throughout the region. Plenty of uh, holiday makers at Port Campbell looking for somewhere to go over January. It could provide seeding for an annual activity at this time when the town is usually very quiet. The quirky character I attributed to Camperdown being so close um, a, you know, comes around the fact that it's so close to a traditional English village. I noticed my healing therapy group in Western, in Perth, in Western Australia, had originally um, many of them had come from similar environments, and as an artist in Camperdown, I related back to a French tutor who worked at one of the founding properties in my grandparents' era. She befriended my mother as a child, which contributed to a lasting influence on her, but it also flowed down to me. And it seems to be some of the, um, the connection with family and ancestors and storytelling here. Um, the other influences locally are Celtic roots with storytelling, poetry, music and healing. It's all interwoven great material for storytelling, filmmaking, inspiration, um, mystery. I met Marg Parrott and also Louis Bayonis through my travels and the studio. And I have an art background in, um, I have a background in art therapy in Melbourne, which I haven't had a chance to develop up here um, so far. So 
uh, some of the reason for um, going in that direction. I wanted Passion Fish to provide a refreshing twist in its productions, hence the summer school project. A survey in the form of a questionnaire was useful to check for prospective um, participants and what their expectations would be of it. In terms of my method and findings, the research method was both uh, quantitative, particularly in the first group, um, and qualitative regarding the use of informal discussion in the second group. I considered it an innovative, qualitative method, and it was suggested from my Deacon lecture notes. Considering the nature of Passion Fish, I used a method that could review two disparate groups, disparate but related groups, in the view of them all becoming potential participants. I could have used a blog, but I felt it would be too drawn out, and Facebook uh, provided minimal response. Um, I prefer a personal response. It's quick and it's effective and I'm promoting as much as um, providing information. I created a survey in the form of a questionnaire. So um, Florida and Landry both wrote about art and culture as profitable agents within the economy. Florida's arguments in 2003 that art and culture activities and profits from them were on the rise, citing factors like technology, social development, government policies including indigenous support, economic factors, cultural consumption as contributing to them. I felt that I've been in that same flow, that I've been part of that process, not just here but elsewhere. So in 2003 I was part of this process teaching alongside the Waliuti Art Centre in Belgo which flew collectors in to a desert environment from all over the world and they use using internet and using um, the profile of the place. Now my questionnaire was about um, my research, this research contributed to the questionnaire. I was, I felt that I brought that experience back with me to here, um, and um, that it was a, a quite a reasonable thing to um, to use that experience in a very far flung place with which had very little facilities and relate it back here to a rural environment. Um, you know, basically to say, you can do it. You, you know, you use technology, you get out there, you put your questionnaire out, but you can do it, it's possible. And Wally Erty is a fabulous example of that. So, you know, I kept that in mind um, when I was, in terms of my method that I used and um, what I was on about. So walking through the town put me in contact with people I wouldn't normally see and it allowed me to introduce myself and discuss the summer school and in one case a lay fears that Mug's uh, workshops weren't um, anti-Christian. So a number of people said that they would attend every weekend rather than work days and one asked about mid-year instead of January. Trying to pin the second group down I found it easier to chat with them either on the street, by phone, or in the studio, or in their homes, to gauge how they were seeing the studio and, what, and the possibility of a summer school. So it was generally positive. Camperdown largely supports the arts. However, a proactive arts officer has been sorely needed and maintaining unqualified and uninterested individuals in these sort of positions actually blocks growth rather than encourages it. So um, considering, considering the Kerangamite Health and Wellbeing Survey, how are we faring, um, that particular section indicated low attendance at an arts function, the second lowest in the region here, 
along with poor education figures, low income and a significant proportion of 17-year-olds not connected to any education. Consumption of soft drink apparently is our um, shining light um, and uh, no doubt contributing to lack of health and dental care, child abuse and people at risk from alcohol abuse, which is the highest in the region. Obesity for women, highest in the region, as well as avoidable mortality. I found this quite negative and I wanted my questionnaire to indicate a holistic healing approach and availability of alternative pathways. I don't, for the money, for the money spent in producing this in a very formal way and then providing that sort of information, I think that my questionnaire um, actually offered something positive and a better alternative. The original issues that the questionnaire um, evolved from were to do with toxicity, owning oneself, flounder, depleted, safety, scoffed at, fortunate, freedom, tough, fears of being persecuted, fears of not being healthy, farce, insight, fear of losing face, reincarnation, negative entity influence, tradition, creativity, venting and expression, world and enjoyment, which are fairly, um, which seem to be um, fairly unconventional. However, they've come from the specific issues which I chose from my life alignment practice. All those issues are actually on my charts that I work from and I felt that they related to the purpose of Passion Fish and this project. So some questions related to health and well-being um, and some from a perception regarding expanding boundaries in a rural community. So what I did from those issues, I consolidated them and broadened them out into questions. In terms of ethics... The questionnaire was voluntary um, and confidential. Um, some of the questions uh, require that requiring a tick or an answer, such as having experienced insights and wondering where they came from, um, experiencing a sense of happiness from feelings of abundance, were me trying to elucidate a response from different senses that participants may be coming from, for example, kinesthetic, visual, clairvoyant, clairsentient, whatever. I found people I didn't know crossed my path at the time and they loved the, to be able to express their interest and what experience they had. Um, Accountants and solicitors were generally at a loss in responding to it. Most of the second group understood them and were positive also. It was horrific weather walking up and down the street, but most people were helpful and apologetic if they hadn't completed the questionnaire. The statistics had alerted me to struggling businesses and low education rates, which I believe contributed in delays in filling out the questionnaire. 21 questionnaires were returned out of 44, 21 question, um, six put their name down and contact number to attend the school. Four babies and one unsure, ten no's. I felt that more were likely to attend with further information. One person was vehement about um, uh, Christianity. No one from the council, either working as a telephonist or an economic advisor, filled them in despite apologies. Questionnaire had 20 questions and allowed participants to tick their answer, circle it or contribute more. The significant aspect of the second group of 14 was an acknowledgement of the difficulties of establishing this enterprise and the positivity towards a summer school. Three out of nine conversations indicated that they are likely to attend now, but the likelihood is that more will attend when the weather improves and people become more social. Five out of five written questionnaires 
indicated attendance with one indicating a possible other commitment. I haven't finished. I've got a bit of a seven foot broom. Keep going, keep going. So in terms of a conclusion to this, for the most part, participants did not need specific language and concepts to participate, but be open to new ways in which to learn, relate and experience about generally familiar aspects of their lives, like family, community and the land. And I felt that this landed with locals and considering you know, the other statistics that I've mentioned. Overall, 19 were likely to attend from 26 written responses and nine conversations. That's 35 responses. Margaret's course was popular, giving her the 10 participants that she needed to cover flight costs. She's contributed further material and posters to maintain the momentum. Lewis is helping with the filming today. Thank you, Lewis. Um, payment systems need to be in place uh, by the end of October and finalised in mid-December. A creative communication school contributes to transformational towns, which is what this town is engaged in at the moment, and develops a profile of passion fish as a Karangamite arts artist-run initiative. I passed on the most significant change technique that Kim Dunphy recommended to me to the Karangamite Art Economics Advisor in the hope that he may be interested in applying it as well as myself in assessing growth in health and well-being in this community as the arts gain a stronger voice. Thank you. <laughs>